Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, physical therapist and cancer rehab specialist. And today is World Osteoporosis Day. And this is very important to me and important to you, my listeners and followers, because osteoporosis and breast cancer are very linked. If you have been through a diagnosis of breast cancer and treatment for breast cancer, then your risk of osteoporosis is significantly higher than it was before your diagnosis. So we look at normal bone loss over our lifespan about 2% per year after we reach our peak bone mass. And for someone after breast cancer treatment, often that goes up to 7% bone loss per year or more. So this is a very important thing to pay attention to and it's a very important thing to be proactive to treat and manage and prevent if we can. So much so your oncology team may have already advised you on infusions or drugs to help protect your bone density. The reason is healthy, dense bone are more resistant to bone metastases or recurrence of cancer in the bone. So protecting your bone health is really important. So here's three things that I want you to think about to help protect your bones. One, get a DEXA scan, D-E-X-A, bone scan. And this is gonna measure your bone density in your lumbar spine and in your hips. And these three areas are gonna tell you if you have osteopenia, low bone mass, osteoporosis, um, or if you have healthy, dense bones. But you need to know where you're starting in order to know how things change over time. There's not an expensive test, about $200 or so, uh, and you should get this done every couple years. And usually our oncology teams are on top of this and ordering this, but if not, don't hesitate to ask them about it. It's important to know where you're starting. Number two, eat a healthy, nutritious diet full of whole foods and plant forward nutrition. This is where we get all the vitamins and minerals with lots of healthy greens to help create the new bone that's being formed. Also, plenty of adequate protein. Protein is basically the structure for which these minerals attach and build strong bone. So healthy plant forward foods and adequate amounts of protein. And number three, you need to lift heavy things and you need to build up to that if you're starting out deconditioned, but lifting, pushing, pulling, and carrying of heavy things is the stimulus that tells bone to grow. Now, this can be a very, very complex topic. I even have providers tell me, Lisa, we don't really quite know how to appropriately guide our patients on their bone health. And so I've taken a deep dive. I've tried to simplify it as much as possible. I've included an entire section on osteoporosis in my course. So if you'd like more information, feel free to check that out. And I'm going to continue to put out more content on safe ways to move, how to protect your posture, how to prevent a fracture, and how to exercise in ways that help you build bone. All right. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day.